hit the subscribe button. Or don't. I really don't care one way or the other. Welcome everybody to my latest video. So for this video we got something a little bit different. What you see before you is my Arcade 1UP 35th Anniversary Capcom Legacy Cabinet better known as the Yoga Flame Edition. And you can see the side art right there. The colors I think really pop and that's one of the reasons why I picked this version over the other version. Let's just uh, pop this up here. So uh, I got this uh, September 20th of this year, 2022. It is now November 12th, so it's been about six weeks. And I thought I'd just give um, another update as far as was it worth it, uh, some of the issues I've encountered. Uh, had I paid full retail for this, would it have been worth it? Probably not. Uh, for what I did pay for it, yeah, I think it's worth it. Now, of course, real quick, if you don't remember the games, you got uh, Hyper Fighting, Champion Edition, Super Turbo, Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo, Pro Gear, Geiga Wing, Battle Circuit, Captain Commando, Armored Warriors, Strider, Final Fight, King of Dragons, Saturday Night Slam Masters, and Capcom Sports Club. All right, so some of the things uh, about this cabinet. Well, as with the, what others have said, the joysticks and the buttons, you know, I didn't care for. The, the joysticks I left intact. They're okay. They're not the greatest. Uh, the buttons I did switch out. I didn't like the buttons that it came with, um, I, so I did switch them out. One of the issues, if you decide to switch them out, is... The buttons that it comes with are 28 millimeter holes. These are 30. So yeah, I wanted to get the more Japanese style, flat, you know. Problem is, I had to drill into the cabinet using a special tool, a step drill. Um, you could pick one up cheap on Amazon, but yeah, I had to drill from both sides just so the button itself would get, you know, would actually fit. So that was one problem. All right. Some of the other issues that, let's, let me see, let me just, uh, all right. So some of the other issues, and I've heard this happen before. When I'm playing a game, the volume button will somehow get activated. Now here's the volume button right here. And what happens is, you know, you push it up or down, or left or right, right to increase the volume, left to lower the volume. So you push it once to activate the button, or sorry, let's go this way. So you're at four, and, okay, you push it, you wanna lower it, you push it once, it activates it, you gotta push it again, and it'll actually lower it. Well, what'll happen is during gameplay, just for no reason whatsoever, this'll activate itself and something like that will happen. It's not, you know, too big of a deal, and, the, and as you can see, it does go away pretty quick, but it can get kind of annoying. And apparently that's a known issue. Another known issue is during gameplay, for whatever reason, the screen itself will kind of glitch out. It'll almost be like it lost its um, frequency or it's, it lost its uh, the transmission of the signal just very, 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 very quickly. Not enough to affect gameplay, but again, it is annoying. All right. Another thing I don't care for is, let's take a look at the lobbies. Look at this, Super Turbo. One person has a lobby open. Hyper fighting. 
What do we got here? Okay, one lobby, two people are playing. Not enough people play online. That's not Arcade 1-Up's problem. You know, it is unfortunate. Super Turbo is my game. Now, here's one thing that I really, really do not care for. It would be nice if you could ban people from entering your lobby. And, and technically, you can if you open a lobby. You create one. You assign it a code. Only those with the code can enter the lobby. But sometimes you just want to go online and, you know, take on challengers. I kind of wish that you could uh, block certain people from entering your open lobby. I know it sounds weird, but take for example this guy. I recognize the name. He's not a bad player. I played this guy multiple times. I think we have a 50-50 ratio going back and forth. The problem is this guy only plays Ryu. That's it. That's all he plays. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, the problem is I get so many Ryu players or I, I encounter so many and although this guy is ranked kind of like where I am, you know, you guys saw he was ranked thir uh, 13 level, I was 11. You know, I don't want to play against a Ryu. I, I really, really don't. And it's unfortunate. And, and if I was to open a lobby and this guy entered, I, I'd play him three games. You know, or whoever wins three first, and then that's it, and just get out. It's not fun. I, I just wish you could ban certain people from entering your lobbies. That's just me. Um, another issue, rollback issue. So the game is designed, you know, try and keep both you and your opponent on the same level, so to speak. I'm not sure what the technical term is, but you know, it's across the internet. It's wireless. So sometimes your signal will go down, your opponents will go up, vice versa. It kind of tries to make things fair. Here's the problem. I... There have been at least three times where I have won the match, the referee has said you win, and the game will roll back the game will roll back to an instance to where my opponent still has health and then he ends up beating me. Very annoying. The rollback it uh, in my opinion is worse than say on PSN. So, yeah, it's really not much you can do, but eh, it is annoying. Let's see, any other issues? Um, you know, if you look down here, kind of hard to see, but you got the fake coin door. I know what they're going for. They want it to try and look like a, a authentic arcade cabinet. There are people who do a coin door mod with the lights that turn on. I mean, couldn't they? Couldn't Arcade One Up have done that in the first place? How much would that have cost them? It's a nice thing to have, but it's not something that I'm gonna add on as far as go out get the mod to make those coin doors, you know, light up. You can see they don't even go in. So having them light up would be a nice. It would be like an official cabinet. You know, I, I, yeah, I just don't. Got even, it's got even the Japanese style or circular locks. Realistically, there's no reason why you would need, you know, a real coin door there. I know there are people who kind of want to make this even more authentic and they will actually wire up, or I don't know people, I assume that people do this and it's fairly easy to do. Um, at least I think it is, you know, they would put in a real coin door. Eh, not me. So, yeah, I mean, it, it, it's worth it for me for what I paid for it. If I paid the full retail, probably not. I enjoy it. I play this every night just because I enjoy Super Turbo. Um, you can see Hyper Fighting... I am, what's my level? Yeah, I'm a level 7. 
Really not that good. It's not my game. Champion Edition. Uh, I I played a few games of this. Level 2. Um, it's just too slow for me. Super Turbo. Right now I'm ranked 38. Uh, I fluctuate between 37 to 40. Right now I'm at 38. Yeah. So, there you are. I mean... Really not much more to say. I, I'm still enjoying the, the cabinet. Might replace the joystick soon. Might. Buttons, I'm glad I replaced those. I didn't replace the start buttons. Uh, there's really no need to. It's not, you know, you press that one time. It's not like it affects your gameplay. But, yeah. So, there you are. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. Until next time. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over.